this is one of the projects I had too that uh, didn't pan out. It's an old Harley golf cart and uh, uh, the motor, the original motor wasn't any good. So I thought, well, I'll just try the project here. So I put a 11 horse Briggs on there. I don't know how well you can see it. The sun's kind of behind me here. But anyway, the Briggs there runs a hydraulic pump down here and then uh, goes on over. Well, it goes down to that control valve there first, which is way too massive for this. I don't know what it came off of. But anyway, then it goes over here and way down in there, you can see that little motor. I'll get around here where you can see it a little better, I hope, down in there. And of course, there was a chain went from here to that uh, differential over there and everything. And I had to have this bracket made and then the one made here that hooks to the pump and connects to the engine back in there. And uh, that wasn't too cheap. But anyway, I didn't have a plasma cutter at that time. Uh, so I couldn't do it by myself. And then the, this little linkage rigmarole here is uh, connected through a pivot deal here and goes up to the accelerator up there, which would have been the accelerator, but it's stuck now from sitting outside some long. But uh, in any case, it didn't work as it's supposed to. I, this motor here, little one like that, it just would kill this big motor every time you try to make it move. And then I had a great big one on here, big old pump or motor. And it was off a big old winch of some sort, 9,000 pound uh, winch. Anyway, that uh, moved too slow, so that didn't pan out. And so now I'm down to, I'm going to start taking parts off up and put them on eBay, I think. Alrighty, I see my battery flashing. So, and this one, by the way, this is just a homemade tank, as you can see. Alright, I'm going to get get off here for now. So thanks for watching. I thought maybe it might be a little something different to look at there. Alright, yeah, that's it.